for the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Ibnogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Well, this defense for the Chargers, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. No matter what coverage was called, they were right in the hip pockets of the receivers all game long. Step for step, running their routes with them. Turned out they were right there every time the ball was in the air. And they came away with five interceptions in that one. Now a pass is taken in by Hill. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. It also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. But well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He is going to find Hill here. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, his 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Charger drive about to get going. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner is a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. 
Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And that is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. And this ball's going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Off of play action, Tonga Mailoa. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 50 yards. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Back to throw here, Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they?
The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Keep it here on first and 10. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about removing parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There's pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. The Dolphins take over first and ten at their own 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns, has got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap, allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. Yeah, big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. So right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. So first and 10 now from the 30. Who are getting it quickly out to Waddle. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, Tua's throw is taken in by Waddle. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Finding room at midfield. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it, and then run with a football. Tua setting up shop to throw again. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And he's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now 21-7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. 